Hey everyone, it's UV Stream. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, so I decided to make the top upcoming games of 2016. The only rules for this list are 1. No rumored release dates like Crackdown 3 or Final Fantasy 15. Unfortunately, both of those would be on my list, but due to them not having an announced release date, I'm not going to put them on here. Another one is that no games that have already come out. We're a month into 2016 and so many good games have already come out, like Jonathan Blow's The Witness. Number three is that no remakes or early releases, like Star Citizen or Dying Light Enhanced Edition. Alright, so coming up in number 10 we have Far Cry Primal. It's the basics of every other Far Cry game except it's taking us back all the way to 10,000 BC. There's a lot of controversy surrounding the game because many of the an same animations from Far Cry 4 are just in the game, and many people are saying that it just looks like a reskin. I don't know, I didn't like Far Cry 4 that much, but this looks really cool and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Number 9 goes to Dark Souls 3. Personally, I've never been any of the Souls game or gotten very far in them. But that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy every second of this world. I did get far in Bloodborne, but of course I gave up. And I really did love that game, and I'm excited to see what From Software is going to do with their next installment from the Souls series. From what we have already, it's shaping up to be one of the best in the series. And if it has as many unique and memorable bosses, or hell, even the lore of Bloodborne, then it's sure to be a great game. Now at number 8, I have to go with Cuphead. For those of you that don't know what Cuphead is, it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up game, kind of like Castle Crashers. I've been excited about this game just because of its awesome 1930s Disney cartoon look. And the game is going to be focusing on boss battles, which has kind of been lacking in most modern games. It's unique, has an awesome art style, and looks fun as hell. I can't wait to get my hands on it and just play the hell out of it when it comes out. Number 7 is Quantum Break, another unique game by the people that made the Max Payne series. It's a story driven third person shooter where you can bend time and get a figure out of mystery in the process of doing that. There's also a live action show that you can watch based on the decisions you make in the game. And Remedy's a trustworthy developer, so I'm kind of excited to see what this is and how it plays out. This game could be an innovation in and of itself. For number 6, we have XCOM 2. Let me start off by saying I really don't like strategy games, but for some reason XCOM just sticks to me. It's one of those games that's hard and really, really hard. But that's the charm of the game somehow, and along with its strategy and base building elements, it's one of the best games out there. XCOM 2 looks like they're improving the improving everything and expanding on everything from the first. Even though it dumps itself down in a few ways, it still looks like it's going to be the best installment. And we already have an interesting story where XCOM has failed and the aliens have taken over Earth, so now the bare bones of XCOM has to come back together and take back Earth. I'm excited and I just can't wait to play this game. At number 5 we have the new Hitman game. In this, for some reason, episodic Hitman, it's going to go back to the roots of the original games where it's an open sandbox environment and you have your own choices on how you want to kill your target. I've only played Absolution, but just from playing that I can already tell Hitman is an awesome franchise and this looks really good and I'm actually kind of interested to see how the episode system is going to work. Coming up at number 4, we have Tom Clancy's The Division. For those of you that have no idea what The Division is, it's an open world RPG where a deadly virus has spread all across New York during Black Friday. The Division is an elite group that, that is set, sent out to New York City to control the virus and maintain the peace of the city. And while I'm recording this, the beta just came out Thursday, and I can already tell you that it's awesome. For those of you that have not played the beta, just this game is going to be everything that we've expected and hoped for and I am just so excited for it to be coming out this year and being able to play with all my friends. Damn, boy! Nice. Who did that? Now number three, we have to go with Uncharted 4. Uncharted is one of my favorite game franchises of all time, and this is the last story for Nathan Drake, but personally, I don't think the franchise is over quite yet. If you haven't played any of the games, go pick up the Nathan Drake collection right now. It's worth every penny because it has all three games prior to Uncharted 4, and they're all remastered for 1080p and 60fps. And I guarantee you, no matter what, you will have a great time playing all three of them.
For number two, I'm going with Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Nor a sequel or a prequel, but rather an origin story for our character Faith. This is going to be an open world parkour game that looks awesome. All the problems and issues of the first game are being fixed, and there's also going to be a smoother free running system. Mirror's Edge is finally coming back in a, and in a big way too. I hope everyone gets a chance to play it. For number one, I'm saying Battleborn. Most of you don't know this, but Borderlands 2 is my favorite game of all time. You're probably wondering what that has to do with Battleborn. Well, it's made by the same developer, Gearbox Software. This is their brand new IP, and it seems like there's not a lot of talk about it, but I feel like there really needs to be. Instead of focusing on a lot of guns, they're focusing on a lot of characters, and also the multiplayer is going to be a huge part of the game as well. The campaign is also still intact, and I'm so excited to play this because it's basically Borderlands with a different art style, different characters, different skills. It's just going to be a great game, and I hope it turns out as great as Borderlands, and will probably be one of the best games of the year. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed that video that, right there. Uh, basically, if you see the more videos like this kind of popping up on my channel, don't be surprised because I'm trying to get a production value upgrade a little bit. And that's going to take a little bit, so if you see them all throughout this month and a little bit in March, then don't be surprised. Uh, also, if you want to see more of my videos, the top video is a vlog kind of thing that I did. So if you want to see my face, you can, you freaking stalker. Anyway, the one on the bottom is another one with my friend, and we were just playing a game, and I think you may enjoy that. So yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then go ahead and click the like button. And if you didn't see a game that you wish you'd saw in this, put it in the comment section. Uh, also, if you just really like me and you want to be caught up with all my videos, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. That would also be awesome. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.